So the first thing you do is you're gonna play the open G string, like this, followed by the open C string. So it's gonna be. After that, you're gonna do a hammer on with your index finger and ring finger from the third fret of the C string to the fifth fret of that string. So it's gonna sound like this. So something interesting happens here. So as soon as I finish that hammer on, I'm gonna play the G string again. So you don't really hear my fingers being taken off and it also sounds so much fuller and layered. Okay, so you're gonna repeat that three times. So one, two, three, four. So you're gonna play four hammer-ons. Okay, so for the next step, you're gonna take off these fingers. While you're playing those strings, your index finger is already traveling right above the first fret of the E string. I repeat above because you're not pressing it just yet. So it's G, C, and now you press it in the form of a hammer-on. Here's the same technique where I play an open G string just when I finish the hammer-on over here. So it's gonna be... Like that. Okay, so you're gonna do it three full times. One, two, three. And now the fourth time, there's gonna be something different. So you're not gonna do a hammer on, but you're gonna play G, C, E. And during that G, C, E, your hand is already gonna travel like this. So to summarize, one, two, three, four, and travel. So right before you press them, so during this arpeggio, make sure your fingers are already kind of hovering above those frets because you're going to press them straight after. Now you're going to pluck all the strings. Now you're going to play G, C very softly. So it's not going to be as loud as the pluck, but it's more to fill up space. Okay, now you're going to play the top three strings. And now you're going to play the G and C string again in the same type of way as you just did. So, pluck, G, C, top three, G, C. Now you're gonna do a hammer-on from the sixth to the eighth fret with your index finger and middle finger. And now you're gonna play the 10th fret of the A string, but that is not gonna be a hammer-on. So only this is a hammer-on and this 10th fret you just play on its own. And the motion is like this. So in total, A little trick, as soon as you play the 10th fret, your middle finger is going to launch and go back to the 8th fret of the E string, like this. Launch, go back, and now you're going to play that E string again. So it's going to be launch, E string. Now you're going to play the top three strings. So it's going to be... Okay, now you're going to do a hammer-on from the 6th fret on the A string to the 8th fret again. Now you're going to play a hammer-on. I recommend to do it with your index finger and ring finger, but if you want to do it with your middle finger, it's also okay. From the 6th to the 8th fret of the A string. So it's going to be... And while you play that ring finger, I also launch my index finger to the 5th fret of the A string. And I quickly position an E minor type of grip. So E minor type of grip, I mean this, but you're going to literally just shove it 3 frets. But I'm going to explain it with the frets. Your ring finger is going to go to the 7th fret of the C string. Middle finger is going to go to the 6th fret of the E string. And your index finger is on the 5th fret of the A string. This one is open, but you're going to play this. So your ring finger is going to be positioned first on the 7th fret of the C string because you're going to play the C string. So it's going to be hammer on, 5th fret A, 7th fret C. And during that 7th fret on the C, while you're playing that, you're going to position your middle finger on the 6th fret of the E. So it's going to be... And now you're going to do a hammer on with these two fingers. So this could be a little bit difficult in the beginning, but the more you practice it, I promise you, the more you'll get it down. This is the hammer on you're actually doing. Five, seven. So fifth fret E string, seventh fret E string, while these fingers are still on there. So it's going to be... Like that. Now you're going to play the A string and take your pink off while you're playing that. So it's going to be... Now you're gonna repeat that part. So it's gonna be hammer on, A string, C string, hammer on, A string, C string, hammer on, A string. So in total you have one, two, three, A, C, E. 
your middle finger is going to stay in the same position. Your index finger is then going to bar and your pink is going to be repositioned on the eighth fret of the A string. Now you're going to play the bottom three strings. So just to summarize, one, two, three, reposition. So see how my middle finger is still on the same spot. Okay, so now you're going to do C, E. So first you have to pluck the bottom three strings. After this pluck, you're going to play the G, C again. Exactly in the same motion as we did here. Like that type of vibe. So it's going to be bottom three strings, C, E. Top three strings, C, E. Now you're going to do a quick pull off from the sixth to the fifth fret of the A string while you're keeping that bar. After this pull off, your pink is going to go quickly to the 8th fret of the A string. And while you're pressing that 8th fret with your pink, you're going to then launch your middle finger and reposition on the 6th fret of the E string. So it's going to be pull off, 8th fret, and during that 8th fret launch, 6th fret E string. And now you're going to play the top 3 strings. So to summarize, bottom 3 strings, G, C. Top 3 strings, G, C. Pull off, 8th fret, reposition launch, 6th fret, E. And then the top 3 strings. So... Okay, so now you're going to do another pull off from the 6th fret to the 5th fret of the A string. Like that. And this whole barred index finger is going to go back 2 frets like this. And now you're going to play the bottom three strings. So it's a quick transition and I would recommend to play it slowly at first. Okay, so after you've plucked these bottom three strings, you're going to play the E string like that. So, and now you're going to do a hammer on with your middle finger on the fourth fret of the E string and your pink on the sixth fret of that string. So it's going to be... Now you're going to play the A string and again, E string, hammer on. So it's going to be... A string, E string, hammer on. Don't forget that E string in between. You might have noticed that this plug is only the first time. After that, on the place where you would play the plug when you repeat it, I'm playing the A string. So plug, replaced by A string. You play this hammer on three times. So one, two, three. So now after this A string, you're not going to do E and the hammer on as you just did, but you're going to play G, C. Like that, just open. So you're gonna take your fingers off and your fingers are gonna travel back to the eighth fret of the E string and the 10th fret of the A string. So basically this enables you to loop the whole thing again. So one, two, three, A string, G string, C string, and travel. And then you can do the whole thing again. You see how that is? When you got this down, let's move on to the bridge. So for the bridge, we're going to go all the way up on the ukulele. What I really love about this theme is that you're literally visiting all parts of the fretboard. So that is super cool. Your pink is going to go to the 15th fret of the A string. I usually count it by going from 12, where you can see a dot, and then just, you know, counting 1, 2, 3. That's how I find the 15. Okay, so now my index finger is going to be on the 11th fret of the E string, like this. So these are the frets I'm playing. So first I'm going to pluck all the strings. And then I'm going to play C, E, C like that. So it's going to be plug C, E, C. Okay, now I'm going to do a strumming thing. Down, down, up, down. So it's going to be plug C, E, C. Down, down, up, down. Okay, so for the next grip, your pink is going to slide back two frets. So 15, 14, 13. And then your middle finger is going to go to the 11th fret again. So... And the place where your index finger just was for the first grip, now your middle finger is going to be there. So it's going to be 13, 11 with the middle finger. And your index finger is going to go on the 10th fret of the C string. So this is the second grip. 10, 11, 13. And now you're going to do the same thing with your right hand. So it's going to be plug, C, E, C, down, down, up, down. So in total you'll have plug, C, E, C, 
down, down, up, down, pluck, C, E, C, down, down, up, down. All right, so the third grip is going to be a little bit different. You're going to bar your index finger on the 11th frets of the E and A string, and your middle finger is going to go to the 12th fret of the C string. And now you're going to do the same thing with your playing hand. So pluck, C, E, C, down, down, up, down. So in total, you have three grips so far. One, two, three. Okay, so the fourth and final one for this part is going to be an E minor grip, and you're going to place it on 12, 11, 10. So it's going to be 12th fret C string, 11th fret E string, 10th fret A string. And now you're going to do the same thing with your playing hand. So it's going to be pluck, C, E, C, down, down, up, down. So after these four grips, you're going to travel back to the third fret and you're going to buy your index finger on the C, E and A string like this. And then you're going to put your middle finger on the fourth fret of the E string. So it should sound like this. And now you're going to pluck all the strings, followed by C, E, C. So it's going to be like that. So it's pluck, ba ba bam. Now your pink is going to press the sixth fret of the A string. And now you're going to play the bottom three strings. So it's going to be pluck, C, E, C, pink goes down, bottom three strings, take the pink off, and then you're going to play the A string. So in total, it's like this. Now you're going to shift this grip, so the index finger that's barred, and your middle finger, so not the pink, but only these two fingers. You're going to shift it up two frets. One, two. And now you're going to add a finger. You're going to place your ring finger on the sixth fret of the A string. And then you're going to pluck the bottom three strings. In total, you'll have... Okay, so after this pluck, you're going to play the C, E, C string again. So, C, E, C. Now you're going to place your pink on the eighth fret of the A string. Like that. So it's going to be... Now we're going to do the final part. For the next note, you can do two things. You can either place your pink on the 10th fret of the A string, or you can play a harmonic on the 12th fret of the G string. Like that, it's the same note. See? So, this time you're going to place your index finger on only the E and A string, and then bar them. So it's not going to be this bar, but it's going to be this bar. After either the harmonic or the 10th fret on the A, you're going to play the E string with the bar. Now you're going to do a hammer-on from the 4th to the 6th with your middle finger and pink. So it's going to be... And now you're going to do the final technique. So it's going to be A string, E string, hammer-on, A string, E string, hammer-on. We've done this before, so it's the same type of vibe. E string, hammer-on. And then the 4th time, it's not going to be a hammer-on, but you're going to play A string, G string, C. So that's it. That is how you play Game of Thrones in ukulele fingerstyle. I really hope that you learned a lot from this video. Comment below which song I should break down for you next. And I hope to see you soon in the next video.